What's going on everyone? Garibon here. It's been a while. I've kind of been away for a little bit, but we're back here with a long-awaited video. This video has been two years in the making. I am once again showing you guys an update to my Duel Masters collection. Now, as you can see, I have this binder here. Uh, I don't know what this art is from, but I, I bought it when I was in Japan. And I thought it was pretty cool. But anyways, uh, yeah, while I was out in Japan, I, I was collecting a lot of Duel Masters cards. As you may have noticed, the Duel Masters has been released in English for over 20 years now. So this collection is legitimately 20 years in the making. I put so much blood, sweat, and tears into collecting all these cards. And I honestly think that this might be one of the best Duel Masters collections that is pretty much in the history of ever, if you count any collector all around the world. This one is one of the best, and I'm going to show you guys today. I hope you're ready. Without further ado, let's just dive right in and see what I've got, see all these super rare cards that I have. Now, right off the bat from the beginning, you can see that I collect... I don't waste my time on commons, right? I don't care about commons. I only go for the most sought-after, super rare, stupid rare cards you'll ever see in your life, and here's one of them. This one's my favorite. That's why I put it in the center of the first page there. That is actually Garibon der Segler, which in case you don't speak German, that is actually German for Garibon the Glider. Now, the craziest thing about that is if you look all around, I have some cards that pair up really well if you build a deck with him. Obviously, this isn't in a deck right now because I just keep it in my binder. It's too valuable. I would never put this in a deck because if I did, I'd just be worried about damaging it while shuffling it. Or like if my opponent goes to cut my deck or like look at my cards, I'd just be too worried that they're going to just destroy it. That's why I keep it nice and safe in this binder. But yeah, you can see around it, I have some cards that would pair really nice with it. Like down here, we do have a copy of Garibon the Glider. We have another copy of Garibon the Glider here. Right here, we actually have a copy of Garibon the Glider, and right next to it, we have Garibon the Glider. Now, I don't, like, my collection has gotten way bigger since the last time, so I'm not going to spend too much time looking at it. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, this here, Kakoyose Garabon, that's actually Japanese for Garibon the Glider. Uh, pretty cool card there to have it in Japanese. That's pretty unbelievable. You don't see many of those in America. Uh, I actually did get that while I was in Japan, believe it or not, the pretty difficult to find but if you search high and low and you look for the deals you're gonna find them like I did uh oh yeah there's a copy of Garibon the glider there but like I said I don't want to waste your time on just talking about every card because these all have stories you know like I could have told you like this Garibon the glider I remember that one in particular uh that was the one that my brother gave to me when I turned 21 and we went we got so drunk that night that he actually accidentally gave me a Garibon the Glider instead of just like some other stupid card that wasn't even worth anything, like a Neve the Leveler or something. Like he was gonna give me that for my birthday, but he he was so drunk he accidentally gave me Garibon the Glider, and I never told him, and I just kept it in my binder. So I hope he doesn't watch this video. But yeah, we do have Garibon the Glider down here. That's a pretty good one. And right up top, that is actually a copy of Garibon the Glider. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's a green uh, nature card. Two cost, 1,000. Power attacker, plus 2,000. So it can swing over a lot of stuff. Like you think you see 1,000 power, you're like, oh, it's going to trade with a bronze arm. No, this thing beats bronze arm tribe in a battle. On the next page over here, you can see some of the more rare cards in my collection. I try to keep some of the rare ones buried in a little bit instead of keeping them all at the front. Like we do have a Garibon der Segler over here. We have a Garibon the Glider down here. And we have actually Garibon der Segler right there. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, oh, wow. I didn't even realize. Yeah, that one is super rare. You don't, you don't see that one every day. Uh, I even forget some of the cards that are even in my binder. I have so many that I forgot that I even had Garibon der Segler. That's pretty incredible. Uh, I might have to look up the value on that. That might be... I might be able to retire early if it with the, the price that this is going for nowadays. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's press on. Let's press on. Uh, wow. Oh my gosh. This page is crazy. There's some of the rarest cards you're ever going to see ever here. You don't see this every day. Look at that. Garibon the Glider. That's crazy. How often do you see one of those? And look at that. On the next page over here, we do have a copy of Garibon the Glider. Another stupidly rare card. You don't see those every day. But wow, this is like, like I said, I've been collecting for 20 years. It's okay if you guys are jealous. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, people wanted to see, I don't, I don't want to come off like I'm bragging. I'm sorry. Like I, 
I, I know I'm kind of showing off. I don't want to come across like I'm just bragging to you guys because I really, I'm not that kind of person, but I know everybody wants to see it. So I'm just showing you guys, all right? I really, I, I don't mean to be a dick about it. I'm just trying to show you guys my collection and look at this. Kako Yose Garabon. We got one here. We have a Kako Yose Garabon up here. And wow, this this page is also like, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just speechless even looking at this. This brings back so many memories of the times that like all the, the, the troubles that I went through to get these, to even have them to show you guys is pretty insane. But yeah, I'm not gonna, we're already at five, almost six minutes now. Uh, yeah, here we have more. Uh, this is some more of my rarest cards. I like to, you know, keep some really rare ones back at, deep into the binder. Here we have a Kakoyose Garabon. We have Kakoyose Garabon over here. And we have a Kakoyose Garabon down here. Uh, yeah, these are, I know you guys probably, if you're watching this, you're probably an English speaker. You probably don't speak Japanese. So I'll, I'll, I can read the card to you. It's, it's basically just, it's a power attacker plus 2000. So it's two cost, it's nature. And so if you think about it, think about cards that see a lot of play, like Bronze Arm Tribe, all right? Most decks nowadays are using Bronze Arm Tribe. This thing can attack over Bronze Arm Tribe, all right? Uh, it can trade with a lot of stuff. And I mean, yeah, during your opponent's turn, they can attack into it too. But I mean, it's only two mana. So like, what, what are you even worried about? It's also a Snow Fairy. So you could evolve it into Diamondia, the Blizzard Rider. And it's a, just a pretty sweet card overall. And I just like the art on it. Look at that. It's a giant snowman with a magic staff. That's pretty sick. And it, look, look, he's just so cool. Anyways, let's press on. Uh, we've got a lot of really cool cards on this page to talk about. We have Kakoyose Garabon. Uh, we have a Kakoyose Garabon over here. And down over here, we have Kakoyose Garabon. Oh, don't forget Kakoyose Garabon over here. Yeah, I mean, what, what more is there to say? Just to... I'm just going to be quiet for like 10 seconds and let you guys just like soak it in and just appreciate what you're looking at. Just take it all in. All right, now that you have reveled in the glory of uh, this incredible card, let's just press on and see what else we have in this binder. I mean... You thought the binder was done? No, this binder keeps going. I have so many rare cards in here. Like right there, Garabon the Glider. That's pretty cool. You don't see that every day. And down here, Kakoyose Garabon. He's pretty sick. Um, this one here is pretty neat, actually. This one is a, a nature card I like to use in every deck that I play nature. It's two mana, 1,000 plus. It's a power attacker plus 2,000. So if you think about it, it could... Like Bronze Arm Tribe is probably the most played creature in the game. This guy can actually beat Bronze Arm Tribe in a battle if, you, if you're attacking with him. Uh, and on top of that, it could beat even more things. It could beat Aqua Hulkuses. It could beat so many just like weak little creatures. But unfortunately, it can't attack Kook Pollen. But what are you going to do? Uh, oh, yeah, we have a Garabon the Glider here too. That's pretty sick. Let's continue. Wow, look at this. That is something you don't see every day. Oh my gosh. Even, like, I know what cards I have, but even when I turn to this page, I'm just left in utter shock because we have Kakoyose Garabon right here. That is just such an unbelievable card. Uh, one of the better cards in the game. It's two mana, 1,000 power. It could, like, it looks weak, but when you read the text, it's a power attacker plus 2,000. This thing can kill Bronze Arm tribes. That's just absolutely incredible. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to bore you with the details. I'm sure you all, like, I i don't even know why I'm talking. You all know how good this card is. You've played Garabon the Glider. That's that's actually the English name. The Japanese is Kakoyose Garabon. But it's in English, it's Garabon the Glider. You, you've played this card before. You probably recognize the artwork. Or at least you should at this point. I don't. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, let, let's just continue, because we have a, more, a lot more to talk about still. Like, right here, we have Kakoyose Garabon. Really cool card. 2 mana, 1,000 power, but it's a power attacker plus 2,000. You could kill a Bronze Arm Tribe with it. That's pretty sick if you ask me. And you could actually, because it is a Snow Fairy, you could evolve it into Diamondia the Blizzard Rider. Pretty sick card to have in the collection. I know not everyone has them. These are incredibly hard to find. And yeah, I, I just have one, and that's why I put it in this binder to show off to you guys. Uh, but yeah, let's... 
let's continue because we do have a lot more to talk about, especially, especially on this page right up here from set six, DM six, Stompatrons of Invincible Wrath. We have, well, it's Japanese. It's in English, it's Garabon the Glider, but in Japanese, it's Kakoyose Garabon. Incredible card. I mean, it's a flying snowman. He's got a magic staff. If you were in the Garabon games and you had that staff, you could probably send someone straight to the Elimination Challenge, and that would be pretty amazing, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, we also have... I don't want to forget it. I mean, before I turn the page, don't forget over here, there's, there's Kakoyose Garabon. Uh, what else is there to really talk about on this page? I mean, this one down here, really good card. It's 2 mana, 1,000 power, but it is a power attacker plus 2,000, so you could kill things like a Bronze Arm Tribe with it. And, I mean, if you think about it, Bronze Arm Tribe is a turn three play. You can get this thing on turn two, and you're already killing Bronze Arm Tribes. What more could you ask for in a two-cost nature card? Let's continue to the next page, where we have something unbelievable. I'm going to let you guys... I'm going to give you guys five seconds to look, try to find what it is that I'm talking about. There is an actually insane card on this page. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to you waste your time. You know it's right there. Garabon Der Segler. Insane card. It's actually a, a German card, believe it or not. Uh, that is the, the German version of Garabon the Glider. Just a really cool card to have in any deck with nature. It only costs two mana, so you can summon it on turn two. It has a thousand power, which you might not think is very much, but it's actually a power attacker plus two thousand. So you could do things like you could kill bronze arm tribes with it. Like, what? Wow, that's pretty solid. And then on top of that, it is a Snow Fairy, so you could evolve it into Diamond Dia the Blizzard Rider. But yeah, let's just... Uh, so wait a minute. I forgot to point this one out. Kakoyose Garabon. Japanese version of Garabon the Glider. An absolutely crazy card from DM6. If you aren't playing this in your nature decks, I don't know what you're doing. It's pretty much as staple as a Bronze Arm Tribe, but it, you can summon it a turn earlier, so... You pretty much, you gotta, you know what I mean? Like, you have to have it in your deck. Uh, we do have some pretty cool cards over here. We have a, a Garabon Der Segler right there. We have a Kakuyose Garabon there. And we have a Hualgange Yoljong Garabon here. That's actually Korean. Uh, Korean Garabon the Glider. You ever see that? The Korean cards? They got that white border. That's, yeah, these very rare, uh... I mean, not actually very rare, because if you think about it, very rares are like, what? They're like one in four packs. This is more like a mega crazy insanity rare, how hard it is to get this guy. Way harder to find than a very rare. Way harder to find than a super rare. Just one of the rarest cards you could get, and that's why I keep it in this binder protected. And uh, just in case somebody's trying to dox me out there and try to steal my Garabon collection, I'm just going to put this, I'm just going to lay it on the table right now. I actually don't keep this binder in my house. I keep it in a safety deposit box in a bank. So, uh, I mean, don't even try breaking into my house to steal this. You're not going to find it. All right. You're not going to find it. Uh, let's just turn the page before I waste any more of your time, because we do have something to talk about down here. Garabon the Glider. Now this card... I actually pulled this one in a pack, if you could believe it or not. Like, a lot of these cards I either had to just buy straight up for, like, thousands of dollars. Some of them I had to trade my most prized possessions for. Some of them I even, like... There was a, a guy that, like, th this card, Garabon the Glider. I worked for a guy for 60 hours a day for a month straight, and then he gave me Garabon the Glider. That's how, that's how much he valued it at. And I didn't have the money at the time to buy it straight out, so I just agreed to work for the dude for like a month, and I was able to get it. But this one, I actually pulled from a pack, Garabon the Glider. And I actually, if you think about it, it's just as rare as Garabon the Glider. So like this day, I was popping off pretty hard when I pulled that from a pack. Um, over here, we do have a Garabon the Glider. Uh, we don't want to confuse it because we also have right here is a Garabon the Glider. Not, not the same. This one is actually a two cost 1000 nature creature that has power attacker plus 2000 and is a snow fairy. And this one is a two cost 1000 nature creature power attacker plus 2000. Very easy to mix up, but two separate cards, extremely rare. You really want to get these if you can. Uh, if you ever find one on the secondary market for anything less than like 3,000 US dollars, probably worth picking one up yourself. Let's continue. We have a few more pages left to go in this binder. Uh, we do have a Garabon the Glider here. 
we actually have uh, a, a Kakoyose Garabon here. And another one, this is the first one we're going to see in the binder like that. We have Garabon L'Eglisseur. I, I, I don't know any French. I'd probably pronounce that way wrong. But this is actually French for Garabon the Glider. It, just a crazy card here. Uh, it is a two cost 1000 nature creature. It's actually a snow fairy. And it's a power attacker plus 2000. So if you think about it, you could summon this on turn two. And then if your opponent plays like a bronze arm tribe. You could actually kill the Bronze Arm Tribe because he has the Power Attacker. Don't forget about it. You might think just 1,000 power is weak, but he is actually a Power Attacker. That's pretty amazing. Uh, it looks like we are turning to the last page of the binder here. Uh, right here, we do have a Kakoyose Garabon. Uh, pretty cool card. And over here, we do have a... Wait a minute. There, what? There's an... Oh, no. Somebody stole this card. Where is it? I, there should be a card here. If I remember correctly, this was a Garabon the Glider. If somebody broke into my bank, stole... I Oh my god, I'm calling the police right now.